So logistic regression is a key tool in predictive HR analytics. And if we, we think of predictive HR analytics as looking at the data that we have in an organisation. So be that customer service data, data that we store in the HR database or operational data, for example. We look at that and analyse that using quantitative analysis techniques that scientists use to determine things like what might cause cancer or what might cause heart disease. But instead of determining what might cause heart disease, we're actually looking at organisational outcomes like what might cause someone to leave the organisation or what might cause somebody to perform well. So, so logistical regression is a specific kind of predictive HR analytics where we use a statistical test looking at predictive variables um, to determine the probability of something happening. So the probability of someone leaving the organisation, for example. So a good example of logistic regression in use in everyday life that a lot of people are probably familiar with is sports betting. So, for example, predicting uh, the likelihood of your football team winning a particular game or the likelihood of a, ho likelihood of a horse winning a horse race. So imagine you're at the Melbourne Cup or at the Grand National or at the Kentucky Derby and all of the and you're looking down the odds tables and you see one horse is two to one and one horse is two hundred to one. And you're just thinking, well what, what's actually behind that? So a logistic regression equation is actually behind those odds. So what the what somebody behind the scenes has actually done is looked at the predictive variables, which might be things like um, has that horse won races like this before on this kind of a track? What stable does that horse come from? Um, how does that horse perform in that kind of conditions? What's the age of the horse, for example? Um, and the outcome is the probability of that horse winning the race. Um, so the higher the probability of the horse winning the race, the lower the odds, so the less money you win if your horse comes in. But that's because it's more risk for the bookmaker. The lower the probability of the horse winning the race, the higher the odds. For example, it might be 200 to 1, and then there's less risk for the bookmaker. If you look at that in an organisational context and transfer that same methodology over, then instead of looking at the probability of a horse winning a race, we might be looking at the probability of an individual leaving or the probability of an individual being promoted, for example. So the predictors might be the demographics of the employee, how long they've been at the organisation, the performance rating, the location, so how long they've been with the organisation, um, or whether they have a specific marketable skill, for example. The outcome, as I said, might be something like, oh, this person is 60% likely to leave the organisation, or this person is only 20% likely to leave the organisation. Um, so instead of working out where to put your money, you're actually thinking about what action you need to take in this organisation. Thinking about how logistic regression can actually help with retention strategies. One way it can really help is it helps you identify the drivers of turnover. So really help you identify what makes people want to leave the organisation. And that in turn really helps you identify where specifically you need to make investments and where you might need to make, put interventions into place which will actually help with the retention strategy. Also, looking down your list of talented individuals or all of the individuals in the organisation, you can identify who's at a high risk of leaving the organisation. You can see who is at a 60% risk, for example, who is at a 20% risk. What action to take with those particular individuals. You can have targeted career discussions, be aware of these things in talent reviews and also in planning succession for senior roles. So the decisions and the actions that you take then are based on evidence rather than based on particular thoughts or feelings or conversations that may not be formal conversations and also gives you the predictive capability to put you ahead of the game in terms of retaining the valued employees that you have.